Hey guys, Larry here, and today I'm going to talk about whether or not it's worth using Marth in competitive play for Smash Ultimate. So when discussing this topic, we have to bring up Lucina. In case you don't know, Marth has an Echo Fighter named Lucina, and all of their attacks are visually identical with the same startup frames and end lag. The big difference between Marth and Lucina is that Marth's attacks do significantly more damage and knockback at the tip of his sword. If you don't hit with the tip of the sword, his moves do less damage and much less knockback. Lucina on the other hand does not have a tipper hitbox, but all of her attacks are an in-between of Marth's tipper and non-tipper hitboxes. It's similar to Krom and Roy, except Marth and Roy's strong hitboxes are reversed. So even though Marth and Lucina have the exact same frame data, a lot of people consider Marth to be significantly worse than Lucina. In almost every tier list made by a top player, Marth is a tier or two below Lucina. The reason is that although Marth's attacks are stronger if you land the tipper part of the hitbox, it's incredibly difficult to consistently do that. Unlike the previous games where Marth had combos or setups that made the inconsistencies of connecting the tipper hitbox more consistent, he doesn't really seem to have that in Ultimate. I'm going to give a few examples on how or why Marth could tipper more consistently in the previous games. So in Melee, Marth has a really good combo game. He can consistently combo out of his throws, and usually if he lands the right hit on the opponent, it's very easy to combo that into a tipper. When it's winning, it's like, oh my god, it's a perfect wall. <laughs> it's all about wall. In Brawl, the mobility aspect of the game is significantly slower than the other titles, making it a lot easier to time and position yourself for tipper attacks. Marth also has some pretty devastating combos he can land out of a grab. In some situations, Marth could grab release the opponent and combo into a fair, a down air, or in some situations, even a tippered forward smash. In Smash 4, Marth actually started off pretty bad. Similarly to Ultimate Marth, his tippers were incredibly strong, but difficult to land and he didn't really have many consistent combos or setups to get them. But fortunately for Marth, in every update, he kept getting more and more buffs until he became a top tier in that game. The buffs he received gave him the ability to combo out of the first hit of his jab, which granted him an incredibly easy way to combo into his tipper attacks with a lot of his moves. They also buffed his hitboxes and made it easier for him to land tippers. Going back to Ultimate, they actually nerfed Marth's hitboxes, making it harder for him to land a tipper. It feels like they kind of reverted Marth back to his pre patched Smash 4 self. This means that you have to rely heavily on not only having pristine spacing on all of your attacks to get the right hitbox you want, but your ability to read your opponent's movements while throwing out attacks. Being able to consistently space your attacks shouldn't be a problem and is something that will happen the more you improve. The true issue lies with the opponent. You're not going to always be able to read or react to how your opponent is going to move, especially when you have to not only deal with an incredibly huge cast of characters, but also an uncannable variety of playstyles that go with them. I feel like Ultimate being more fast paced compared to Brawl and Smash 4 also makes it more difficult to land tippers. This is because the game has a lot of constant movement. Think of it this way, in general being able to consistently land attacks in Ultimate is hard because you have to worry about an opponent that is constantly moving around. Now on top of that, you need to make sure you hit the opponent with a particular part of your attack. The very tip of your move. And if you don't do that, killing and just about everything is just significantly worse. A good amount of Marth's combos and follow-ups are dependent on whether or not you got the tipper or non-tipper hit. Because of the lack of knockback on some of his attacks, it's sometimes more beneficial to get the non-tipper hit in order to extend your combo. So getting the wrong hit on your attack can cost you additional damage on your opponent. I think potentially Marth has a better combo game than Lucina because of being able to use lower knockback attacks at higher percents, which can give him access to more follow-ups, especially if they lead into a tipper which deals even more damage. It would be great to see this explored more since I believe his combo game would be the only thing that would put him above Lucina. 
Regarding Marth's kill power, there's something to note about his tippered attacks. To my knowledge, his smash attacks and dancing blade have significantly more kill power than Lucina's, but his aerials aren't that much stronger when tippered. His non-tippered attacks are also much weaker than Lucina's attacks, so unless you're taking stocks consistently with his smash attacks or dancing blade, you're probably not killing that much earlier than Lucina. Surprisingly, Marth's attacks on shield aren't that much more safe than Lucina's. Some of Marth's tippered attacks are about a frame or two more safe than Lucina's. At the same time, some of Marth's non-tippered attacks are about a frame or two less safe than Lucina's. And then there are some cases where Lucina's attacks are just as safe as Marth's tippered attacks. This means there are spots where Lucina can better pressure the opponent in situations where you want to be slightly closer to them to better bait out options. Now, I feel like some of you guys might be asking, what about Roy? Why is he still considered just as good if not better than Krom if he has a similar drawback to Marth? Well, without going into too much detail about Roy, he wants to hit you with attacks that are close to the hilt of his sword as opposed to the tip. Meaning Roy wants you to be up close to him. When playing games that are super movement heavy like Smash, I would say that it's incredibly easier to get super close to an opponent and hit them than to aim to be at a particular distance and land an attack. And there are a couple of reasons for that. Reason 1. Getting close to someone requires less thought than attacking at a certain distance. When almost all of your attacks have a sweet spot at a certain distance, you need to not only think about what attack to throw out, but at what distance you should be for said attack. If all of your attacks have a sweet spot up close, and you want to land the sweet spot of it, your primary focus is just being close to the opponent. Reason 2. A lot of characters tend to fight up close to begin with. Because of that, half of the work of getting close to the opponent is done for you. So now all you have to do is make sure you time an attack to throw out. As opposed to Marth, where being super close to him isn't that big of a benefit for him because he wants you to be at a particular distance in order to hit you with the sweet spot of his attack. Before I give my verdict, I wanted to get the opinion of another Marth player and see what they think of the character. And what better player to get an opinion from than the best Smash Ultimate player in the world, MK Leo. He was the best Marth player in Smash 4, and transferring over to Ultimate, it's no surprise he's the best with him in that game as well. So, MK Leo, what do you think of Marth in Ultimate? Well, uh, in my opinion, I mean, I know there's a lot of people thinking there's like a bunch of characters better than Marth. In my opinion, he's still high tier, with Lucina being top tier, of course. At the same time, I mean, Marth has like different stuff than Lucina. It's like, it's literally not the same character, at least for this game, like he used to be in Smash 4, but like, the thing about Marth, I don't think he's that bad. He, of course, doesn't have like the tippers like he used to be in Smash 4, but still, he's stronger than Lucina in some moves when you get the tippers. But Lucina is, just seems like the better option for everyone because, of course, the game is faster and you just want to like do something easier, better with combos, better kill power. Like, Lucina can just like get you to 80%, 90%, and just four smash, up smash, up B, and it will just die. Edgeguard is like. Probably backer is like almost the same strongest, stronger son, strongest our son. So it's like it's a really huge deal. It's like Lucina seems like always the better option, but Marth is also a good option. It depends. It depends if you want to like spend your time playing the character. I will say he's high tier. I I tried it myself. I I also went Marth against some people, including you, and uh, I mean that was like that went. 3-0, then when I went Lucina, he went 3-0, but for me, and it's just like really hard. I'm not saying that like it went better because the character is better. I mean, in some part, that's that's why it went better, right? But like, I feel like in this game, you don't really have the time or like, you cannot really be precise with the tippers. And uh, I think that's what makes Mars really bad in this game. I mean, not bad, but like worse than Lucina. You can of course get like confirms that Lucina cannot can cannot get. Like Lucina cannot like do opera into Tepper Opera at some percents and Mart can. But like even if he can do it, it's, there's still like a high chance you won't get it because uh sometimes people will say I'm crazy, but like sometimes I just feel like the tippers doesn't work even if you get the tipper. You know what I mean? It's just like like the game just just doesn't allow you to get the tippers. Mart of course has the better better confirms. 
fair into fair Tepper, Dancing Blade killing really early, almost uh, as strong as Royce. But, um, I mean, in my opinion, he's not a bad character, he's high tier character. He still does well against some matchups, but it's still like, if you uh, if you cannot kill someone with Mart, I mean, you what can you expect? I mean, you can just literally just play Lucina, and like, that's, I think that's probably the main reason Mart is not that good. Just even though I was trying to play Mart, and even though I, I thought I was able to get like a Mart to the top tier again, I like, Joker came out, I didn't want to use Mart anymore, and then Lucina's there, so it's like, there's no really a reason to just play that character. So, uh, I feel like, yeah, if you can just do the same thing with easier and more and more consistent, why would you, like, why would you change characters? You just stay with Lucina, but, like, if you want to keep trying with Mart, I would love to see someone, uh, putting some work with the character. But for now, my opinion is, is, has been always the same. He's good, but, like, why are you spending your time in a character that is not the same as good as Lucina, that is easier and also better character for the meta game, at, like at least right now? I don't know if you remember, but I used to go Lucina against some characters at the end of Smash 4. But uh, the reason why I thought Mart was, Mart was better it was because he had more range than Lucina. And for the kind of game that Smash 4 was, I think it was better because it was like a slower game and also more campy. And in this game is just like really fast and like there are some characters that can just like go rush down and like you just, you just kind of do anything like you you just kind of react you just need some something like lucina sword and like can just hit you same like whenever whatever and uh and i feel like that's a really big difference because in the smash 4 even though it was like exact the same thing but uh mart had had more range so he used to do better against characters like Fox, Sheik, Diddy Kong, and characters like that, but like, in this game, they just have the same range, so it's not really like, like, there's literally no reason why to play Mart instead of Lucina. Okay. Damn, I, I actually didn't know that, that, um, they made Lucina and Mart have the same range in this game. The only thing I feel like is good for him is that the Tipper has, like, a different hitbox, and of course it's gonna have, like, more priority and it's also gonna have like more hit stun in the shield and it's also gonna be easier to combo after getting the tipper because the hit stun but uh also like i don't think that matters when like you have the same range there's something that i was thinking but like i'm pretty sure marth is faster than lucina but i know i'm crazy i know that's i know that's not possible and like i know that's not true but like i used to play lucina and i also played marth for like two months and I feel like he was faster. It might be like just because he uh, he does more hit stun or something, but like it definitely needs it definitely like feels faster than Lucina. Of course, I mean that's not true, but like I still feel like he could be a good choice for some characters for some matchups. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I think I get what you mean. I think I think it is because of the um, the added hit stun on his on his attacks. It just makes it easier to react to. Yeah. And also has better combos. I mean, no combos like Lucina gets you with that up tilt and then like up tilt, up tilt, ch take chase in the platform, then upper, upper, upper back here, and it does like 70, 80%. But Mar but Mars can get stuff like like nearing to Tepper up tilt, nearing to Tepper force smash, or Star Spot fair into Type B or something. Like he has he has some other stuff like again. It's not worth it. Like you can just do it with Lucina and like be better and like have better results. It's uh, it's not really that different. It's just the fact that like the game is just different. So after everything I've explained, I am now going to answer the question: Is it worth using Marth? Honestly, at the moment, I don't think it is. While he does have more kill power and damage when he lands the Tipper, the problem is more often than not, you're not going to be landing the Tipper you need. It doesn't help that his non-tipper attacks are much weaker than his tippered ones, to the point where the opponent lives to a ridiculously high percent, if you don't land it. Even if you do land a tipper, how early are you taking your opponent's stock with it, and how many stocks are you taking with it per game? I would say if you're not taking, on average, at least 1.5 to 2 stocks per game with an early tipper kill, you're probably not killing that much earlier than Lucina, or not earlier at all. 
There is a way to work around not getting a tipper and still killing at a reasonable percent, which is using Dolphin Slash. It's a really good option in general. It's frame 5, has decent kill power, and is an up B, meaning you can do it out of shield without jumping. Even though he does have this option, I still don't think it makes up for his inconsistent kill power. If there was somehow a way to consistently land more tippers with Marth, I would say there would be more of a debate about this. But as of now, I have to say without question, Lucina is the better choice. Something else that could be done is making Marth's tippered aerial stronger, because as I said earlier, Marth's tippered hitboxes aren't that much stronger than Lucina's in the air. There might be a handful of matchups where Marth potentially does better than Lucina, but even if that is the case, you still need to worry about being precise with the character or else the advantages he has over Lucina just aren't worth it. Lucina is just far more consistent with her punishes, damage output, and combos compared to Marth. It feels like if you were to rate their attacks out of 10, all of Lucina's attacks would be around the 7 or 8 range while every tipper attack Marth throws out is 1 or 2 points better than Lucina's. But everything that's not tippered is 2 or 3 points worse. It sucks because I feel like in Smash 4, both Marth and Lucina were in good spots. Lucina was a really good character and just consistent, but Marth was better and rewarded you for it by being precise with your spacing and attacks. Who knows, Ultimate is only over a year old, and there are still more balanced patch updates we have yet to see. Maybe like in Smash 4, Ultimate Marth will get some buffs that reward you for playing him over Lucina and restore him back to his former glory. And that is it for the video. If you agreed or disagreed with what I said, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you disagreed, give me an explanation as to why you did. If you liked the video, please give it a like, and if you really liked it, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.